So hello guys. Uh, in the last part, we end up here in this in this point over here. So now I'm going to do the rest of the exercise. Let's do it. I'm going to name this moving crane, and I'm going to define the root the root which will be a line. Definition method, I want a line, point P1 will be 0, 0, 10, point P2 will be 0, 36, 10. And I'm going to press apply and close. Now, I'm going to press the step field. I'm going to assume the default value of flow direction meaning that the load will operate on the z direction and its sense will be opposed to the z axis sense it will be downwards okay this is the step uh, one meter step okay i'm going to select the application plane automatic and i'm going to press the parameters button here and I'm going to define these coefficients over here, LR and LL. I'm going to enter the value of 0 0.1 and also 0 0.1 here. This is just a definition uh, for the forces that act on an horizontal axis, simulated, simulating the vehicle braking. Okay. Uh, we are going to define this as 0 0.1 times the weight of the of the vehicle okay now I'm going to activate these options the vehicle position limit okay there we go I'm going to press okay I'm going to press apply and close now you may see here this line that is just that line that divides the load of the of the moving crane okay let me switch to start and as you may see it is a green line defined here okay now I'm going to run the structural analysis I'm going to go going to tools menu job preferences I'm going to structural analysis over here I'm going to ask the method of solving the system of equations to be iterative okay I'm going to select iterative I'm going to also switch off the option of automatic freezing of the results okay I'm going to press OK. Uh, regarding to the method of solving the system of equations, I'm going to explain them later in another video. OK? I'm just following the rules. I'm not going to dive deep on this now. OK? Uh, the method, once again, will be iterative. I'm just going to press OK and run the calculations over here. And in the calculations there we go now you may see the moving crane and all of its steps going to select the component let me just go to display loads moving loads apply there we go as you may see here all the steps shown here again switch the component and there we go it's quite cool so now I'm going to stop because I'm running out of time uh, in the next movie we will uh, follow from this point here presentation of the vehicle and moving load case okay 
So thank you for watching.